That's fine. All right, so we're going to, I guess we're going to run that back. Perhaps with a working R button now. And um, looks like everything's in order. We're going to get right back into it. Tong is going to start it off with a nice bit of percent right now. At least 47%. He's going to try to get this Edgard right now. There we go. Just running up and grabbing on that shield. All right, Tonga doing a good job of keep, keeping control right now, keeping Prophet out of the center of the stage, just as I say that. And then he gets it back. All right. So Prophet's off stage right now. Sheik's notoriously difficult to get back on stage against with all those quick hit boxes, with those less than desirable knockback angles. Tong has already got a great lead right now, 19% to 100. All right, Prophet seems to be answering back a little bit though. Tong is doing work. That's smart by Tonga trying to go over the arc fire instead of perhaps rolling back into a trap that Prophet may have been setting up. Oh wow. He clanks with the book with the bouncing fish. Let's go. Oh wow, that is a very scary place to be right there. Caught in an art fire. It. Oh. Oh, and they're just smacking each other back and forth across Smashville right now. Caught in the arc fire. Prophet on a little bit of a comeback right now. He was at quite the deficit er the earlier stages of this game. Tonga's going to take that stock and is going to say, Nah, man, I've been in this lead all along. All it takes is one button. Press the right button right there. Checkmate's going to take that stock. And now we're back to an even game. Prophet's using up a lot of his Levin Sword right now. It's probably not as desirable as you would think at low percent. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was great by Tonga. And now he's got this incredible combo out of that usage of the Levin Sword item. That was, that was nuts. Tonga's nuts. He's just all over him. He, he's not letting him breathe. Prophet's gonna have to bring. Oh, oh no, he's gonna have to bring this back. Prophet showing a little bit of signs of life here. Seriously, gonna have to bring this back to Wow. Oh no, is that gonna do it? Oh my goodness, he's so close to dying too. Uh, trying to get the stage back with that back air. Got like one good hit or one good setup is gonna do it. Oh, back air is gonna send him. Probably the opposite way he was DIing might have been expecting the up air. Solid neutral play right now. Oh, up air, is that gonna do it? Oh my goodness, that's gonna do it. Profit with the comeback. Song has gotta be feeling that one. I can imagine we'll probably go back. Tonga was looking pretty confident with that stage pick right there. Unless we see a character switch to the Fox from Profit and to the Lucina from Tonga. This was unprecedented to say the least. And we're still going to go back. All right. All right, completely different matchup now. They're going to have to adapt to playing against these characters differently. Getting out of there with a quick up B. Uh, just grabbing him in between the hits of Dancing Blade. You gotta be just a little bit quicker with those Dancing Blade hits. Because you can space it out to try and get maximum shield damage. But you gotta be careful so you don't get shield grabbed. Wow. Easy percent of coming out from Tonga right there. Oh wow. That was, that was actually a nice tech from Tonga, but Prophet was ready for it. Oh, he tried to come up with the Leo. Oh, that backer, is that gonna do it? That'll do it. 
not the most profitable trade for Tonga right there, but he's gonna he's gonna Oh wow, that was almost too close. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And that's the set. That's the set, folks. Yeah, Tonga knows he's not in his head. Like, yeah, I'll take that. And there's that. Profit wins 2-0.